Hi everyone, I'm Tyler. And I'm Alex. Welcome to the preview for Unit 2, Bitcoin Defies Gravity. In 2010, the cryptocurrency Bitcoin was first used to make a purchase. Two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin. If that pizzeria was lucky enough to hold on to those Bitcoins, uh, then today they would be worth more than $150 million. People for the better part of a decade now have been speculating and warning that Bitcoin seemed to be a speculative bubble, uh, but they have not been proven right yet. Speculative bubble. Speculative bubble. Just last year, uh, Bitcoin investors saw a 300% return on their investment. And in the first weekend of 2021, Bitcoin reached an all new high record of $32,000 for one Bitcoin. So the $64,000 question or the almost two Bitcoin question is where will it all go from here? The $64,000 question. The $64,000 question. Now, how Bitcoin works is beyond both mine and uh, Tyler's purviews. Uh, but what is clear is that there are definitely some advantages to this technology. Uh, for one, you can make online uh, payments uh, anonymously, uh, whilst still validating your payments unlike, say, cash. Uh, also, a lot of people appreciate the fact that the currency is decentralized, meaning that a government doesn't regulate it. For one. For one. When was the first time you heard of Bitcoin, Alex? I think it was around 2014. Uh, one of my co-teachers at a place I was teaching at said to me, Hey, bro, you heard about this new Bitcoin thing? <laughs> and I said, no, no, I have classes to teach. <laughs> and uh, then he earned a bunch of money and then I kicked oh, myself. What yeah. about you? Uh, yeah, I had a friend uh, maybe in 2012 who uh, heard from someone else about Bitcoin. Mm. And at the time, he was telling me I, w I was a little bit hesitant. And I said, oh, you should be uh, careful about that. It seems like sketchy. Uh, yeah, like we see now, it's worth so much money. That will wrap up the preview for Unit 2. We'll see you guys back for the review.